Hey everybody in Drumland, Mr. Fitz here. A little switched. Got a lot of junk. I have to try to set myself up so you can see my sticks. Drums rock. Okay, here's line number 125. I'll play it and then we'll talk about it. Here it goes. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four. Bass drum. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right. So, what do you think the concept is here for the snare part that they're really trying to get you good practice on? All right, if you guessed it's the eighth rest followed by the eighth note, you're correct, okay? So in that, um, that selection, what I would recommend you do is practice just a couple of measures at a clip. Make sure you're counting carefully and also doing the accents, all right? Um, other thing about this, it says moderato, which means kind of a medium speed, but I just want to mention whatever the tempo marking is when you're practicing it, go at a speed that you can comfortably play it and keep steady. There's no point in going faster um, and then not keeping it steady. So that's really key. And then gradually, as you master these songs, you'll be able to play them at any tempo you want. But the first step is just to pick a tempo that works for you. Now, let's just look at the first uh, measure. Actually, and the first measure repeats itself. Notice that it has an accent, so you got one N, all right? So you want to make sure you accent that note. And then on the second beat, two and. Okay, so eighth rest on two, play on and. And then third beat, three and, and fourth beat, four and. So the whole measure, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, practice it, have fun with it. It's a really good one for doing um, eighth rest, eighth note, and accented notes.